I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Cheryl Palmer. She is Chairman and CEO at Taylor Morrison. Cheryl, it's wonderful to have you here today. Thanks for joining it's me. so nice to be here. Thank you for having me. So Cheryl, tell us why you're at the NYSE today and what it was like to ring the bell 10 years later. Oh my gosh, it's such an exciting day. I mean, 10 years ago, we had the world's largest home building IPO. And today we are here celebrating our 10 year anniversary of being public. It's been an amazing journey. We have about 100 of our team members from across the country here joining to celebrate not just being public for 10 years, but what our company is today. We've um, grown so tremendously. Probably our top line's grown something like four times what it was when we went public. Um, our bottom line's grown even more, <laughs> but it's just, it's such a, such a privilege. So tell me, how are you meeting the needs of home buyers in today's environment? Well, it's been a unique couple of years mm -hmm. for sure. And our mantra is really about making sure we understand the need of each consumer. As large as we are as one of the, the, uh, the country's largest home builders, it's important that we don't lose that personal touch. And especially in the environment that we've been operating in, when you think about interest rates, the way they've moved, and the way everyone's trying to understand how they can afford to get into their new home, it's about taking the time, understanding their individual needs, making sure we have the right house in the right location. We can put together a package with a mortgage that makes sense for them and help them get to their new front door. Um, the demand's amazing, but still everybody needs support in today's environment. It's been, it's been a unique couple of years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last month was Women's History Month, yes, it and was. Taylor Morrison is women-led. Um, your CEO, um, you have your executive team and board of directors, which has a large female representation. How do you attract talent, advance company values, and deliver on your promise to your customers? Well, there's a lot there. <laughs> um, you know, I think first it's about doing the right thing. And when I think about our organization, it starts at the top. Our board is a majority diverse, either measured by ethnicity or gender, but each of them have a tremendous skill and value to our organization, and that's why they're on the board. And if you really go after experience and skill and contribution, the other stuff falls into place. So I think about our board, I think about my executive team, which is probably about 40% diverse. And then I think about our organization. I'm so proud, our industry, has something like an 11% representation of female in the workforce. Ours is closer to 50-50. I think it's 65-45, so it's very close to an equal workforce. And we make it a place where everyone knows that their whole self is being taken care of. It doesn't matter if it's our benefits package, it doesn't matter if it's the way they have opportunities within our organization, but everyone's the same, everyone's equal. And I'm so proud of the workforce and the way it's developed. All right, well, wonderful to talk with you, Cheryl. Okay. Congratulations on 10 years of listing on the New York Stock Exchange. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you so much.